Most wall clouds don't produce tornadoes. These supercells are short-lived, but as long as they remain active, they can multiply. There are many supercells that can develop. You can get six, eight, ten supercells in a row, and they can come through like waves of aircraft and keep tearing up the ground. Before a tornado, the weather will be unstable, sunny and cloudy, dark then light, with storms coming and going. Warning is in effect across the southwest of Dallas. A developing storm that has already caused numerous Toby, tornadoes. Toby, cut it out or I'll take that ball away from you for good. to grow in strength as it moves across northeastwards, causing a strong possibility All right, give of hail outbreaks in anything. surrounding give counties. It. People are advised to stay indoors if at all possible until the storm passes. As what is it? Shh, hold on. are now closed until after the weekend. Oh. Thousand feet above ground, water droplets freeze and stick together in the form of hail. In a powerful supercell, the updraft can be over 100 miles per hour. As they rise, they pick up more droplets, sometimes forming lumps seven inches across. Eventually, these lumps of solid ice become too heavy and fall back down to the ground. Texas hailstorm, even if it's only pea-sized, you are very frightened. And it comes down hard, and it comes down fast, and you feel like someone's shooting at your windows. Large hail usually falls toward the front of a supercell, which means the most dangerous part of the storm is still to come. believe this but our car was just hit by hailstones the size of grapefruit well I could take a look see if I can't get you fixed up for the ride home oh, that would be so kind emergency services until we know where the danger is. Oh, it could hit the stadium. we got to get these people out of there. Yeah, they've already started evacuating. We've got thousands of people to move. It's going to take some time. Yeah, you're right. suburbs. Before the unthinkable happens, perfect disaster, super tornado returns after this. The windshield will still take a few hours. And if you're in a real hurry, I got a truck over in the garage. Could do you a good rate. What's up, 
here. Mom! Kid, okay? Yeah. Did you say you had a truck? The multiple tornado outbreak has churned up miles of land, property, and people. But the twisters have disappeared as quickly as they arrived. But now the unthinkable begins to take shape. As the supercells die, they leave behind a mass of dry, cool air. Harmless on any other day than today. It's rush hour in Dallas, and west of the city, a new storm has formed along the dry line boundary and has begun to feed on the energy left by the dying supercells in front of it. In less than an hour, the situation in the city will go from bad to worse. The storm seems to have passed as people report in new... Okay, it looks like the worst is over, people. Fire department has an additional seven units on its way after the suburbs right now. What do we have in the way of leaks or fires? Chief, sorry to interrupt. This may not be over yet. The National Weather Service thinks the worst is still yet to come. I think they're right. Information from the National Weather Service has revealed something new and potentially far more dangerous. A new supercell is heading towards Dallas at 20 miles per hour. It has absorbed all the rotational energy left from the dying supercells in front of it and is now getting an extra boost from the heat of the day. This unique combination acts like a turbocharger, swelling the supercell to a massive 25 miles wide. Tornadoes just don't simply occur out of just any thunderstorm. Usually there's a setup that occurs. Typically in the morning, there's a rain shower or something that sets up a boundary, and then later in the afternoon, the supercell develops and uses that boundary to its own advantage and producing the big tornado. The skies may look clear, but the storm is now only 20 minutes away. James, what is that? See that big supercell? It's moving along the boundary the old storms left behind? Yeah. That's a perfect breeding ground for new tornadoes. Man, that thing's huge. I've never seen anything like it. Let's put a call into the chasers and see what it looks like at ground level. Right, but remember, most supercells don't form new tornadoes. You know, we could be fine. Can it hit downtown or not? As the ultimate supercell approaches the city, the instability increases and the potential for a super tornado grows by the minute. What? What, what is it? Chief, this is really serious. If that thing hits ground, we're in big trouble. All right, first, we need to sound the sirens again. Um, Second, we need to issue more radio warnings to get those people off the streets. Now listen, third, we need to stop evacuating the stadium, tell everyone to get in the bathrooms and underneath the stands. If they get out in the parking lot, they don't stand a chance. And fourth, we need to hold back our rescue teams. We've got injured people out there, James, that need treatment right now. I have to get my emergency services to them right now. Where's your boss, man? I no, get... no, no, listen, listen. What good are our rescue teams if they get caught up?